I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Kawai Art Cafe. So today is a new Artist Alley vlog. I'm super excited because I'm actually preparing for two events to sell at this weekend. Right in these clips here, um, you're seeing a little bit of convention prep. I'm just cutting out some stickers and restocking since Galaxy Con the week before. But yeah, this is a little bit of my sticker process. If you guys are interested in how I make my stickers, I actually have a YouTube tutorial, so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But yep, this is pretty much how I con prep. I have a list on Notion on all the things I need to restock and package. And I mostly sold out of my stickers, so I just need to restock my Animal Crossing stickers and some Ghibli stickers. Now this weekend, I'm going to be very busy. Like I mentioned before, I'll be selling at two events. So to clarify, um, I'm preparing for Saturday to sell at two places. The first one being at my local martial arts school. Over here, I pretty much just finished packaging everything up. I'll be splitting my shop into two since these events will be at the same time. So right here in these clips, you'll see me setting up at my martial arts school, my pink table. Um, here I had combined some new martial arts merch and some plushies. Now, this footage is actually on Friday night, so I was able to prepare a day before the event. Um, they were hosting a picture day for the students to take some Taekwondo martial arts portraits and I was allowed to set my shop on the side for the kids that were waiting uh, to take their pictures. So I'm just setting my pink table here. I kept the setup very simple, just one table for each event since I didn't want to be too overwhelmed being in two places on Saturday. Right here, I'm just adding the crochet bag and all the plushies, and I was super excited. If you guys know me, martial arts is actually a pretty big part of my life, and it's also my day job. And I'm just very passionate about martial arts and wanted to create a new product line. If you guys have seen my previous video, I mentioned the whole reason why I got into Artist Alley's was actually because of my martial arts school. So little story time if you guys don't know it a long time ago when we took our students to a martial arts competition there's these vendors selling like k-pop merch and martial arts merch and i was like oh my gosh like i would love to do that so while looking up on google how to like sell your stuff at a table i learned about artist alleys and conventions anime cons and stuff and that's where i started so it's pretty cool to kind of wind back to my original goal and see making more martial arts style merch I designed some new mugs, some buttons, tote bags, and stickers, and I can't wait to create a whole entire collection. <laughs> right here, you saw that I just put the grid cubes in the back, and now we're filling it up with product, which is my favorite part. I know you guys love to see me building up my table, so I try to include as much footage as I can of the Taekwondo school stuff. and. For Saturday, my mom actually sold for me at the martial arts school, so I didn't get any vlog of me selling there, unfortunately, because simultaneously, I was selling at a Cars and Coffee, which you guys will see in a couple minutes. And this is the finished result at the martial arts school. I just set up my pink table, so let me give you guys a quick little tour. On the bottom, I got some new tote bags. I have a Totoro one and a Spirited Away one right here. Then up top, I have some martial arts buttons, some new designs and stickers. I was super proud of how these turned out. The kids really liked these the last time, so I'm super excited to debut these as buttons now. I also have my notebooks, plushies, and some martial arts totes. I thought they were super cute. If you couldn't tell, they were based off of me. <laughs> And then on this side, I had the crochet plushies, the Sailor Scouts, the Avatars, the Pokemons, and some martial arts mugs. So that's pretty much the pink table. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes and I just finished the shop for tomorrow. So tomorrow on Saturday, I'm going to be selling at the martial arts school as well as the cars and coffee mix. So these clips right here are actually the next day on Saturday morning. Uh, we came to a local Cars and Coffee in Fayetteville. I was super nervous about branching out to new markets and trying new things. 
I was honestly kind of worried that people were going to be like, who is this random girl with a random shop? Because I was the only vendor there. But luckily, I did get permission from the owners to set up my shop and display my car. So I was super excited. I came super early on Saturday at, I think, 7.30, 8 o'clock-ish. And then we just took about an hour to set everything up. As you can see, this is the blue display, which we did a lot of changes. I learned a lot from going to GalaxyCon the other week. Um, having a small space, sharing a table with a friend, made me get really creative about how to maximize the table for products and product displays. So I really enjoyed zip tying the little plushies on the sides of the pipes here. So I did that again. I thought it was really fun. And then I'm putting all my little items at the front here. Now, both of these events were really short, which is why this vlog is pretty short. <laughs> um, they were both just for one day. Um, I would be selling at the martial arts school from 10 o'clock to 11, just for an hour. And at the same time, I'll be selling at the cars and coffee from 9 o'clock to 11. So that's why you won't see my mom in these clips, sadly. She'll be busy selling at the martial arts school. But anyways, um, things went pretty well. Uh, we were setting up until around 8.30. That's when a bunch of cars started rolling in. So unfortunately, I did have to cut out the audio because it was quite loud hearing all the cars rolling in. <laughs> but yeah, I learned a lot from vending outside. It has been a long, long time since I set up shop outside. The last one was actually a um, coffee and cosplay thing like two years ago or something. So this is the entire setup. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick tour. On the left here, I hung up my t-shirts and the avatar plushies just like this. And then I also hung some tote bags on the bottom, same spirited away ones and my last cherry blossom one. I made some blue signs and laid my stickers and sticker sheets just like before. I also had my buttons on the right side and displayed the cups just like this. Luckily, this wasn't an artist alley, so I didn't have to sit behind the table, which meant I could use the entire surface area of the table to display all the plushies. So this is pretty much the blue setup. So shop, and the car. Put them side by side so I could just kind of sit in the middle. So we just finished setting up shop, it's 8.44, and we actually already made a sale. A little girl bought a Pikachu, so hey, thank you for being my first customer. This is the whole venue. It's pretty empty compared to last time, I think, but it's still fairly good size. All right, it's 9.05 and the event just started. Wow, this sounds really harsh. <laughs> anyway, the event just started and I actually ran into one of my childhood friends, Jessica. So it was so good to see you. Thank you so much for supporting my shop, girl. You're awesome. So it's been about 20 minutes. To be honest, we didn't really stock that much since we only had a few days to prepare. So we actually just sold out of our Pikachu. We sold two Pikachus, and then we sold out of um, Avatar Aang over here. We also sold a few stickers and drinks, surprisingly. So it's been much better than I thought it would be.
been about 40 minutes and the event has really filled up. short event hence the short vlog but i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless if you've made it to the end comment below a car emoji i love to know the special awesome people who watch the entire video <laughs> and if you guys want to see more artist alley vlogs go ahead and check out my last video where i vended at galaxy con raleigh all right i'll see you guys next time bye